move straight into you know the next uh, session we'll be having with uh, one of the uh, greatest women in the, one of the greatest women in the house in the person of uh, Dr. Fumi Adewara. Dr. Fumi Adewara is um, you know a medical practitioner anyway. She's a British physician and a Cambridge uh, trained uh, bioscience multi award winning entrepreneur and a globally recognized telehealth expert with a background in medicine, pharmaceutical, and business development. Her career you know, spans more you know, uh, than 15 years working with the NHS UK and a stint of uh, the pharmaceutical industry as a drug safety physician. And there are so many things we need to talk about on Dr. Fumi. Dr. Fumi is an international speaker featured on many platforms, including the United Nations Committee on Science, Technology, and Innovation, 2019 to 2020. And of course, he has been involved in so many you know, uh, aspect because, because of the time, I may not be able to really, you know, say all this thing because we are very, very much conscious of the time. Dr. Fumi, you are welcome to speak on Telehealth Solution for Rural Heart to Rich Community in Nigeria, a case study. You have a floor now, Dr. Fumi. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Can you hear me? Good morning, everybody. I'm very honored to be here. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yes, we can hear you perfectly well. Hello. Yes, can we can you hear, hear you perfectly well. Everyone yes, can very hear well. Me. Okay. Good you morning. My name is Dr. Fumi Adiwara, as you have said. I'm very honored to be here. And I want to thank the organizers of this event for um, inviting me to speak about the work that we have been doing. Um, I would like you to please uh, bear with me as you share the slides. Dr. Akangwe, please, can you share the slide I sent to you? to revolutionize access and, and delivery you. of healthcare services across care services across various African countries through telemedicine, the use of modern day technology to provide clinical care from a distance. Users can simply log into their portal and request a video consultation with our network of more than 100,000 experienced medical experts sourced from all around the world. Our integrated app, enables users to have access to quality consultations 24 7 from their mobile devices normally before if i go to hospital very early in the morning before i go see doctor in the afternoon that's not because say the doctors are they very few but with this app from the comfort of my home or my shop i will feel consult with my doctor and my doctor will meet my up with my medical needs when you take this transformational journey with us you will also be saving millions of lives through this initiative. Africa bears 25% of the global disease burden, but has only 2% of world doctors. Less than 5% of Africa's 1.3 billion population have access to basic healthcare, yet the continent is one of the fastest growing in mobile technology adoption with over half a billion mobile users and 30% smartphone penetration. Moba Health continues to facilitate last mile access to quality healthcare using innovative AI point of care technologies. These high-level diagnostic imaging devices enable doctors to receive real-time vital signs, ultrasound images, respiratory sounds, ECG, and heart curves. With this revolutionary integrated telemedicine EMR portal AI point-of-care devices, modular solar and internet-powered teleclinics, we will be able to screen, diagnose, and treat thousands of women, children to detect high-risk pregnancies, heart diseases, and other medical problems in resource-poor settings, reducing the number of deaths and complications for pregnant women, children, and others. Our innovative digital healthcare platform has won multiple awards and received international acclaim in our effort in transforming lives leading to fewer hospital admissions, reduced costs, and improved outcomes. Supporting MobiHealth is not only a rewarding investment, but you will be saving millions of lives in the process. Mobi Health, where care and compassion come together, helping Africa leapfrog healthcare challenges. Thank you very much for listening. So um, as a background, I'm a physician and I trained in Nigeria, so I'm very conversant with the challenges that um, we face. Um, I left Nigeria like many of my colleagues are doing today, more than 17 years ago, and I worked in the NHS. But I've always thought about coming back to the continent to give back to to help to fight the um, various challenges that we have. So I'll be presenting to you some of this work that we have done in Nigeria. 
And as you have already seen in the video, the problems are, uh, resonate across all African countries. 25% of the disease burden of the world is what we bear, but we have only 2% of world doctors. Nigeria currently has less than 20,000 doctors to service 280 million population. More than 70% of this population live in remote areas, the rural hard to reach areas. So no matter what intervention you bring, if you don't touch that population, then you're likely not to see uh, the impact. Um, it's sad that with rapid mobile technology adoption on the continent, Africa continues to have a very high uh, mortality rate. Every two minutes as we are sitting here, a child in sub-Saharan Africa dies needlessly from the complications of malaria. But there's justification for us to leapfrog our healthcare challenges. And the COVID pandemic has served um, as a good opportunity for us to adopt technology. And I'm very happy to hear from various speakers who have done excellently well in speaking about and, and advocating for telemedicine. Because when we started back then, about five years ago, there were, it wasn't so popular. And the co policies weren't just in place yet. Uh, but when I go into a room and I ask how many people have practiced telemedicine, it's usually less than 1% of the, of the room. But today, quite a number of people are aware and there's a lot of motivation for adoption of telemedicine. So it's, it's a very fantastic development compared to where we were four, uh, seven years ago or five years ago. I wouldn't dwell too much on Mobi Health because you've heard that from the slide, but essentially our mission is to make quality affordable healthcare a reality for the world population with particular focus on Africa. Uh, our platform provides a one-stop solution for a user's healthcare need, whereby you are able to access doctors, both local and foreign doctors, and also to access um, medication, genuine medication, uh, diagnostic tests, and health, awareness, health wellness programs on the platform. We pioneered telemedicine in the Nigerian Armed Forces and I've been working quietly as well in rural hard to reach areas and I'm going to delve more into that. Um, because of our time, I'm not going to dwell too much on many of the slides, but I'm happy to share more information during the Q&A session. So we started on November 2017. We didn't just have a knee-jerk response to COVID. We had it already well thought out. We were looking for a solution that would speak to the African narrative, but we couldn't find anything in the market. The ones in the Western countries were either too expensive or they were just not built for the African narrative. 95% who don't have health insurance and pay out of pocket, lack of uh, digital skills and internet quality, as well as long distance to travel. And, and of course, the lack of um, electronic medical record. So we had to build our own solution. Um, and, and then by January 2020, we launched commercially. Prior to that, we we're providing pro bono services to people across Nigeria and other African countries online. Um, we launched commercially January 2020, just before the onset of COVID pandemic. And we've been able to support the national and the, glo uh, and the local, national and global uh, pandemic response. Um, and our mission, our, our goal, our vision is to be your preferred telehealth provider, um, leveraging on the various channels that we are looking at in terms of our uh, business model. Um, our intervention has um, given us a lot of recognitions, both um, home and abroad, um, including uh, invitation to Buckingham Palace, having to win awards from Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, uh, the UK government support, the AFDB support, and recently, we got a million dollar grant from the US government to carry out a feasibility study to re replicate our solution in other African countries. And that has just been concluded by the Boston Consulting Group. Next slide. Okay, I'll move on. So the mar telemedicine market is big, it's massive. Uh, I've heard from other speakers um, presenting a lot of opportunity. Um, the global telemedicine market is estimated to reach 590 billion by 2030. Africa and Middle East will account for $11 billion of that market. And if you look at Nigeria, medical tourism alone is nearly about $2 billion by just 30,000 Nigerians who seek medical care abroad. Now with the forex crisis, with um, all the difficulties in traveling, um, telemedicine has become even more imperative for that class. And it presents a very good opportunity as well. It's growing and it has been growing at a figure of over 27% over the last five years. If you look at the state of healthcare in Nigeria, you have already heard this slide, but particularly for rural areas, um, the, those in the rural areas historically face more challenges and that is even worse than what we have in the urban area. And that has been exacerbated by the pandemic. 
you know, the, the rural areas, they are sparsely, they are dispersed um, across large distances. So people who, who need health care have to travel long distances to access care. They're generally people of older population who have comorbidities, uh, NCDs, non-communicable diseases, hypertension, uh, stroke, and all the rest of it. And Tra transportation is really difficult in the in the rural areas, so mobilizing from one place to another is a challenge for them. So how do we bring affordable healthcare to their doorstep? And that's what mobile health is all about. We're not just about designing a solution for the middle class, of course that's very easy. But what we're we, we're really interested in is delivering particularly primary care to the poor and those who are less able to afford it in the rural communities. And we have done this successfully well, as you will see from the uh, next slides I'm going to show you. So our value proposition is to improve access to care through efficient care model, um, a patient-centric approach to care that are measurable and helps to optimize resources, whether it's human resource or uh, material resources. And ultimately, uh, customer satisfaction is at the center of what we do. Our platform provides access to medical care um, and we meet the patient at where they are. Our solution is an on-demand teleconsultation platform accessible through various channels. And uh, we're building a database of over 100,000 doctors globally. Nigeria currently has less than 20,000 doctors, but we have over 72,000 doctors on the register. More than 50,000 of Nigerian doctors are scattered in the UK, Europe and America. You know, and over the last year, you have seen the massive immigration of doctors to um, out of Nigeria. That problem requires a multi-pronged approach. And even if you have all your, even if the government gets everything right today, it will take decades before we can get to that doctor to population ratio that has been um, recommended by the WHO, which is one to 600. We are currently at one to 10,000. And that is really, really ridiculous. But it's not just because there's no health insurance coverage. If you look at countries like Rwanda, that have over 80% of their population covered. They still have one to 9,000 doctors to, uh, uh, to population. So when we talk of a manpower, telemedicine can really bring a change and it, an immediate uh, revolution in the health sector. And that's what we need to be looking at. Sorry, who stopped my slides? <laughs> I can't see. Dr. Raphael? Did you stop no, my slides? No, I wasn't the one. I, no, okay. I wasn't the one that stopped the slide. I think it's, okay. it's back up again. Okay, so um, we have various delivery channels. Uh, we have the uh, mobile application, the web application, of course, that's convenient for those in the urban areas, the middle class, those who have digital skills. But how about those in the rural areas? So we developed a telehealth clinic solution and that comes with solar power. It comes with internet connectivity and it has remote diagnostic tools. This enables a doctor to have a real time um, assessment of a patient during teleconsultation. Of course, there's the free, toll free uh, line where a user can call in and the doctor can see them through the phone call. The documentation again is done on our EMR, telehealth EMR portal. Wow. If you look at the bottom of the screen, you will see these revolutionary devices. They are the game changer because at the early onset of the adoption of telehealth in the West, one of the barriers to adoption um, was the fact that the patient worry about how will the doctor listen to my heart? How can you know what is wrong with me when they, don't even, they can't even listen to my chest? They can't see my vitals and the rest of it. Now we know technology has changed that dramatically. So our platform has these devices that I will show you later, and I'm sure you've seen them on the video. Uh, that's a, the one on the left hand at the bottom of the screen in that blue uh, briefcase is a, it's your clinic in the suitcase, it's just your, your, in a briefcase. So it's very mobile, it's very portable. It contains digital stethoscope, pulse oximeter, and it contains um, glucometer sticks. It has um, spirometer, it has a weighing scale, everything that you need. It has a camera, so the doctor can examine the tympanic membrane of a child remotely. Wow, the digital is, stethoscope can give you the heart sound, the chest sound, and the ECG waves. And the doctor mm. can be anywhere in the world and be able to see this and listen to the patient's heart sound. And that's very, very important and enhances wow. the quality of the diagnostics that you receive. Now, this is life in Nigeria. Right. It's not something that is high valuting. You don't need to go and draw inferences and references far away from Asia. We're already doing this in Nigeria. Nigeria and Africa is not lacking at all in innovation. So we have all this wow. and quite a number of organizations are also coming up with different telehealth initiatives. And that's very encouraging. In the middle of the screen, oh. you will find this point of care diagnostics, which is a point of focus. It's called point of care ultrasound. You can see that it's just Thank a tablet. Thank you very much, Dr. Fumi. 
Sorry? Yeah, I said thank you very much because we're just trying to be conscious of time. In fact, this yes. is so, 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 you know, fantastic. Have I gone over fact, uh, 15 minutes? Yes, we have uh, two minutes. You have 22 minutes okay. extra. <laughs> okay. Wow, Can thank you very up? much. Okay. Okay, okay, just in 30 seconds, please. Okay. So, uh, in essence, we have deployed this solution in different places. So, you can see some of these pictures on the screen. These are in Bichi local government, in Kano state, in Kogi state, in Lagos state. And we are replicating this across various um, communities. When it comes to the cost, our platform is very cheap. It comes at as low as 2,500 Naira a year for an individual to be able to access our portal. So just a few more pictures wow. of what we have done. And we're, I'm happy to answer questions and to take more. Uh, if anybody is interested to learn more, I'll be happy to do that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Adewara, for this very mind-blowing presentation that you have just uh, displayed to us. And uh, I believe strongly that, of course, this is not just a new technology in Nigeria. It is already, you know, ongoing and a lot of, uh, you know, bodies are really enjoying this. And I believe strongly that a lot of people on this platform both locally and internationally are also watching and listening to this very fantastic, uh, you know, technology that you have just displayed to us here, which I believe very soon, I know, through this platform, a lot of calls will begin to troop in into your, you know, phone for better collaboration. Thank you once again. Questions will be coming around and uh, we'll definitely get it across to you for you to help us to answer it. Thank you so much. And we'll quickly move in.